Got a week of work ahead um, some exciting things on at work first of all we're launching a new issue of our like online publication i think i talked about it a couple of vlogs ago that instead of posting like once or twice a week um constantly throughout the year instead we are releasing our content in an issue so once a month there's like eight to twelve posts all on a similar topic so you can really like get a deep dive into it which is turning out really well and it's really fun too to like, I don't know, bring all the content together in this way. I've just been working on the cover for this issue on the iPad. Um, I use iPad Pro, the Apple Pencil and the app Procreate. So far I've got this Blogging 101 and obviously I'm going to darken it up in Photoshop later. Um, what else is there to update you on? This morning I went to the gym. I'm trying to go every weekday this week because there's really no excuse. I've said this in a million vlogs and I keep making excuses for myself. But this week I'm actually trying a lot harder. And also it helps that I want to fill up the activity rings on my watch. So there's that. <laughs> I don't know how long that novelty will help for though. Right now I'm drinking a healthy glass of green juice. I love the innocent juices. They're so good. My face is very red because I've just been to the gym and it always takes ages to stop being red after I exercise. I guess that shows how often I do it. Um, I've been doing pretty well this week though. I've been three days in a row, which is more times than I've probably been the whole past month. So I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, now I'm going to make some breakfast and get started for the day. Yesterday I had such a long work day. Um, I didn't finish up with the PDF version of our issue that we put out until about 11-ish, 11.30ish at night. So that was a long day. Totally my fault. I should have started all of that um, much earlier. Didn't really realize how long it would all take me. So now I know for next time that I need to allow at least two full days on that imagery and stuff for the issue. At the time I'm recording this, it's going out in like five hours, I think. But by the time you see this vlog, it'll be out. It's an issue all about blogging. It's like the ABCs of blogging 101. Lots of advice in there. Um, I wrote a post about designing a blog homepage and hierarchy and creating focus to drive your readers towards a specific call to action. So if you're interested in reading that, I'll link that down below. Very proud of it. I love our issues in this way we do our blog at work. I think it works out really well. What else is there to update you on? Um, gonna try film another video today because I want to make sure that I'm ahead. I'm gonna film a video about organizing my fonts and I need to do a few errands at lunchtime as well. So I'll take a longer lunch break today to make up for the extra hours I worked yesterday. Oh, also today I'm gonna to start coding, which is exciting and scary. Uh, I think I'm ready to dive in and basically I'm just gonna see how I go because I sort of have to do a bit with WordPress and PHP as well and I'm not super sold on that. Mostly I just trial and error it, but I don't really wanna do that when it's a professional site, so. Yeah, I will let you know how I get on with that. How absolutely beautiful is the weather today. I've come out um, just for a bit of a walk. I've got to do some errands, but I might as well walk through the park on my way to do those errands and enjoy some sunshine. Because there's really no excuse for me not to get some good you know, vitamin D in these days now that I work from home. I'm really looking forward to hopefully in summer being able to work outside a little bit. There's like a little cafe nearby um, where I live that has some tables outside that I think might be nice to, to sit and work at. But yeah, going to the supermarket, going to H&M to drop off a bag of old clothes to their fabric recycling thing. And to the pharmacy as well, just a few little bits. And it's good to, yeah, get out of the house and into the sun. Wait, is it still morning? Yes, it's 11.30, so it is still morning. 
Um, this morning, first of all, I went to the gym, so yay, still going good on that streak. Um, secondly, I have been coding a website. I think I talked about this at the start of the vlog, but in case I didn't, um, this year ConvertKit is hosting its first conference, which is very exciting. Tickets go for sale on Monday, and the conference doesn't have like its name and its theme all sorted out yet, like, you know, the design elements to do with that. But we need a landing page in order to sell tickets, you know, the early bird tickets from. So, this is what I'm trying to code. And I want to show you where I've got to, mostly so I can have a record for myself as I go through this and see, I don't know, how I've achieved and what I have not achieved. Was that English? I don't know. Anyway, this is my sketch file for the website. So I've got a nice big cover image of Boise, which is where it's being held. Speaker info. Oh, that is in a circle, but I've taken it out for getting the image. Um, yeah, just some information. It's a very simple web page. Oh, and this is meant to have this guy on. Very simple, but um, finding it very challenging with my very basic coding skills. So it's fun test though. Like it's really good, good to learn. This is what my site that I've coded is currently looking like. So here we go. Not not quite right there. Um, I've got some speakers. Um, yep. Don't know what's going on there. So everything is sort of in the right-ish place at least in the section but there's a lot left to do obviously i don't know where this white blank space up here is coming from um next i need to work out how to get icons in because for these bits here i had um these icons and i'm not quite sure what the best practice is for putting them in so i've been told that i shouldn't feel bad about googling when it comes to web dev stuff because apparently the real pros do it all the time as well. So I'm gonna do some Googling now and work out the best way to do that. I'm finding this a challenge because, um, more of a challenge I should say, because I'm coding in a style sheet, well, you know, a SAS style sheet system or whatever, that already exists on the site. So for example, the H1s are already defined. And so I need to then find out what those are and if that relates to my design, etc. And yeah, figure out where all those little styling things are that already exist so that I'm not doubling up. Really, it's just going to take time for me to get to know our site, I suppose. Alright, you ready for an update on my conference site? It's looking a lot better now. It's still a bit hacky in places and I need to fix some things, but here we go. So now, it is looking much more like the design with stuff in place. I am quite pleased with myself, not gonna lie. When you shrink it and it go on mobile, it's not so great. And there's definitely still things to fix. But, um, all in all, a good start. I'm very pleased. Hopefully I can fix the last things tomorrow and not have to work too much over the weekend, but we shall see. Good morning, everyone. As per usual, I didn't vlog at the weekend, but instead of just being like, Sorry, I forgot to end the vlog and ending it now. I thought I might as well just include today too, because um, today is the day that the website that I was coding last week launches. And I'm very excited to see how it goes down. Um, on Friday, I don't think I vlogged. Mm, on Friday, Dylan helped me with putting it live and fixing um, last few errors and things and getting the media queries working and stuff like that. And I'm really proud of it, to be honest. Um, let me show you now. The site, if you want to go look at it, because by the time you see this vlog, it will be live, is at convertkit.com slash conference. And this is what it looks like. We ended up adding a lot more speakers because um, more got confirmed, so that's exciting. Um, if you're into like online business and you've got a blog or a podcast or a YouTube channel or whatever, and you want some advice for running that. Um, I mean, all these people are going to be amazing to learn from, so head along to the conference. Plug, plug, plug. Some bits were uh, trickier to code than others. This bit here in particular really was, um, stumped me a lot, so Dylan helped a lot with this. I like to get this line crossing out through the 799, and then um, when shrunken down, I wanted this bit here to stack at some point. Where does it happen? There. If you're a web developer, you'll probably look at this and be like, that's so simple, like, why did that take us so long? But hey, I am still learning, and I'm pleased that I managed to do this. 
also very grateful to have had Dylan there to help me because probably couldn't have done it without his advice. So anyway, that goes live today, which is very exciting. This morning I have been writing emails, actually. Um, getting sorted with some email automation and things and actually using ConvertKit, which is the company that I work for, in case you hadn't caught on to that fact yet. Uh, so now whenever someone gets, someone subscribes to my email list, they'll get a welcome email that asks them to like, um, choose what they're interested in basically. And this morning I wrote a series of emails to go out to someone when they click that they're interested in learning design with some like background advice and um, links to some of my older videos that I feel like are recommended viewing in a way with some background information and stories behind them. So that's cool. We'll see how that goes down. I haven't sent an email newsletter for a long time, but that's something that I'm getting back into doing this month. So if you're not signed up to my email list yet, it's at charliemarie.com slash newsletter. So go ahead and do that because I am going to be putting more effort into email in the future because I feel like it is this more personal connection. I don't know. Anyway, I'm about to start work for the day and I look like a mess because um, I'm going to a spin class in a couple of hours. So I thought, what's the point in properly getting ready for the day when I'm just going to put my workout clothes on and get all sweaty real soon? Anyway, to get started for work for the day, I'm just going through Basecamp, which is a service we use for like organizing projects and working out what I actually have to do this week. gym that class nearly killed me um he pushed us really hard and was like standing by our bikes and checking that we hit the rpm he was saying some of them i just couldn't hit i don't know i'm not that fit i cannot bike for a little sustained amount of time at like 150 rpm anyway i'll get there the more i do it um playing record now what i'm playing is if i just close this and show you here this is the live album from the Bring Me The Horizon show I went to last year at the Royal Albert Hall, which was incredible and it's so cool that they now have it on vinyl so I can like relive it because um, it's just amazing to listen to. Uh, let me give you a clip right here. The inside of this album is really exciting too because, um, if I can find it properly, where is it? There right there is my name. Because um, this was on a Pledge Me thing. The show was to support the Teenage Cancer Trust, I think that's the name of it. And so, yeah, uh, the proceeds went to supporting that charity, which was really nice. And then they printed the backers' names in the album. So exciting. Day. The conference page is launched. Um, I think it went down well, which is good. Um, people are buying tickets and things. Now I'm off to the supermarket. There is actually one closer to my house, but because I work from home and have no commute, I've got to be real careful that I don't get lazy. So I'm walking to the one that's slightly further away, and they've got more stuff anyway. Um, I'm gonna get some dinner and then have a pretty quiet evening, I think. Mm -hmm. 